my first Studio Kitchen Live of 2020. That's pretty darn good. So I'm excited. Today, tonight, um, well, before I get into the menu, let me just say, hey D, I was this close to turning on the air conditioning today. This close. Now, I don't know if it was the men all pause or what, but this close to turning on the air conditioning, it was so hot in the Carolinas for me. I <laughs> Skeeter, all your likes. <laughs> so he's hitting the like and loves and I got like Valentine's hearts floating everywhere. Hi, Linda. Hi, Sharon. Hello, everybody. Oh my gosh, y'all, 2020 is here. Mm. Um, not gonna be before you long. I'm watching a good movie. So I'll be getting back to it in a little bit. Uh, I'll have to, you know, catch up on that. But I, I do wanna start off the year um, on the good foot cooking a little something I have been eating beans collard greens candy yams etc etc since January 1 I don't want that no more no more I'm, I'm done I'm tired of that so today I thought I'd go against the grain and um, I found a couple of lobster tails that were like five dollars a piece and that's what I'm going to uh, broil some lobster tails I'm not really gonna have anything with it I do have some um, carrots and onions that I had from my chicken that I cooked over the break so I'm gonna eat that with it. a little cocktail sauce and call it a night very simple oh my goodness oh these babies are cute oh oh trip trip all right let me get these washed off and uh, we're gonna get into this video I hope and pray that this has been uh oh I'm here I'm right here I'm just trying to get these uh, tails out the bag you double bag them for me yeah Okie dokie. Let's get some paper towels here. Now I got some uh, small tails. The small tails, um, if, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I, I tend to like the smaller lobster tails because they're a little sweeter. So, oh, there you go. So you can see what I got going on here. So they're small, just about the palm sized 
which is just enough for little old me. Mm -hmm. Two of these babies. But small is the best way to go. So I'm going to get these cracked open, butterfly them, and uh, get them broiled. So to butterfly them, you want to go right under the shell here and just start snipping away. I hope I get this one. Ooh, ooh, don't crack on me. I don't want pieces of shell in there. Uh, and when you get to the last one, stop. Okay? So you got that. Mm -hmm. Just crack it open and pull that meat out. Oh, that came out cute. And lay it back on top of the shell. Like so. Boom. 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 It's, it's really quite simple. Yes, you can do it. You can do it. All right, let me lay that there. Before I get it seasoned up. I bet the second one ain't going to come out that cute. <laughs> ah! That baby didn't want to crack. Come on, one more, one more. There we go. Put it back. Slide that meat out. Okay. Came out all right. It wasn't easy though. <laughs> and close that back lay it on top of the shell like so okay all right so we got that wash my hands Now, before I get too far in the video, I want to broil start. Let's get the uh, oven heated up. Hey, Linda. <laughs> and then I'll get those seasoned up. But first, first things first, let me welcome you properly to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live. This is it. This is, this is the studio, and you come here to watch me cook and eat. Mm -hmm. So we're going to continue that in 2020. My goal for 2020 is to make sure I get a video every week. It's a goal. It's a goal. It's not a promise. Okay? Okay. All right. Uh... <laughs> If you would like, after the show, maybe tomorrow, um, please, ma'am, please, sir, go to my website. There are tons of videos on my website under the watch category, uh, which is at www.sugarpearlsonline.com. You can also go to Instagram. Every now and then I put up some posters or some food stuff or some selfies. You can check that out, which is at sugarpearls underscore online. And if you have not done it yet, then you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have thousands of Facebook followers. I need to have thousands of YouTube subscribers. All right. It's got to match. All right, that's just the OCD in me. So make it match. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It's easy. I ain't going to sell you nothing. Just subscribe. It's Sugar Pearls. That's it. Online. Sugar Pearls. S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. One word. Sugar Pearls. Mm -hmm. You need to do that. Tonight. If you have another device while you're watching the show, Go ahead and do that. 
I'm gonna have to wash these. Oh boy, but what a year, huh? Mmm, what a year. Now, I know. Do I have any olive oil? I better. Oh no. Oh no. I don't have any olive oil. What happened? Uh, all right. Don't worry. In 2020, we're going to make sure we have a cabinet full, full of olive oil. Because this, this don't make no sense. I love my olive oil. Ugh. Anywho, I'm annoyed with myself. Let's get a little Himalayan salt on there. I don't need a whole lot. I uh, want some paprika. Spice. Tell me I got paprika. Red pepper. Anybody like me got to pull everything out the cabinet just to find something. Little garlic powder. I ain't got no paprika. Oh, you know why? Do you know why? Because I used it for the, um, I used it when I did my seafood sauce. Use all the paprika. I'm going to put some Old Bay on there. Not a lot because it's got salt in it. I already put salt. But for the color. Two lobster tails. And some carrots and onions. Uh, that's going to go in the oven in a second. Mm -hmm. So, family, friends, I hope that uh, 2019 was good to you. I hope that you were able to reflect on some phenomenal moments of the year I hope that I did I know that I did uh, there were some losses we took some L's but we also had some wins um, and I definitely say that for me the good has outweighed the bad uh, because I know it could have been far worse um, oh wow so my question for you tonight, I don't want you to chime in too quick. I want you to think about this one, okay? My question for you is, what will you bring with you into 2020? Now, that's a spin, huh? Because um, people are making these New Year's resolutions I'm not even going to get started on it because it, I feel like uh, sometimes we say things. Somebody asked me um, what my resolution was and I told I never make New Year's resolutions. I just, to me, that's a setup. So I don't do that. <laughs> I try to be better than the year before. I try to be better than the day before. Um, but y'all ain't about to set me up with no resolutions. And and saying that out loud. And, right, and putting it on Facebook and stuff. No, I'm not doing that. Um, but I ain't knocking you if you do. Okay, If you do and you need others to hold you accountable to that, that is fine. Do that. Uh, but don't come for me. Now, my idea on resolutions is you don't just wake up January 1, 2020, in this case, and bam, I'm going to lose 20 pounds. I'm going to start going to the gym more. I'm going to stop smoking. 
I'm gonna stop drinking. I'm a, you know, it, it's all these um, stops. You know, I'm gonna stop eating so much. I'm gonna stop this, stop that, what, whatever it is, y'all do. Um, because those things, it's a process. So if that's something you want to do, then you don't wait till December 31st. You you do that all along, right? So I don't I don't believe in setting myself up like that. I just don't. And furthermore, I think that if you make a resolution or a commitment to yourself to do something, it shouldn't have to be punitive. Like all these stops, what I'm, what I'm not going to do, what I'm going to stop doing. I, I want to think of it in a more positive frame. So for me... My resolution, if if I had to make one, is not to stop doing something, but there are some things that I'm going to keep. And there are things that I'm going to take with me into the following year. So my question to you is, once again, what will you keep in 2020? Okay, got it? All right. I'm going to give you about... I was in the classroom, so... You know, I'm going to give you a, a think time of 60 seconds. Then you can chime in. All right, think about it now. All right, I'm going to put these in the oven. Woo! Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know why my um this, it wasn't scrolling so I didn't see y'all give me a face there's your face oh uh, <laughs> hey Cabana I'm Maurice Antoinette Tab Walitha Miss Ada Sheena Jeanette Durant <laughs> oh Ken I am, I've already booked my room for homecoming, so my plan is to be there, boo. Yes, yes, yes. I'm looking forward to seeing my Stillman fam and turning up all the way. Alexander, what are you making happy doing? <laughs> Thank you, Skeeter. Sorry, y'all, I'm just getting the comments out of the way. I hope that you, hi, John. Hey, Dia. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys. All right. So, for those of you, uh, hey, Jackie, <laughs> that are just tuned in, um, I posted a question to the audience. And the audience um, was somewhat around resolutions only. I don't make resolutions. Don't set me up like that. I ain't setting nobody else up like that, okay? I don't do that. Um, the question is, though, when you think about 2019, and hopefully the good has outweighed the bad, what is it that you're going to take from 2019 into 2020? Skeeter says, that's right, your 60 seconds is up, class. Let's go. For 2020, I'm keeping things simple, not overthinking stuff. Ah! I love it. I love it. Yes. Keep it simple. Everything that, you know, there are things that take time and thought and preparation. Most great things do. But sometimes we can get in our own head to the point where now we're talking ourselves out of things. Mm. Yeah, keeping it simple. I love that. What else are you guys? Hey, Anetta. <laughs> what are you taking with you from 2019 into 2020? That good stuff. I know for me, 
uh, toward, I would say, the middle and gradually building to the end of 2019, I got to that place where I started using my voice, as we talked about before. And I'm taking my voice with me into 2020. Yeah. Um, not necessarily to fight somebody else's battles, but rather to fight my own, to advocate for myself. That's good enough for me. Having peace. Oh, honey. Yes, Tanya. Taking that from 2019 into 2020. Having some peace. Peace of mind. Get rid of other folks' luggage, child. Because I think when it comes to having peace, um, that, that's probably the biggest hindrance of all. Other people's stuff. I'm keeping it PG tonight. Yeah. Other people's stuff. One other thing, I'll be taking more confidence. Ooh, confidence. Yes, Kita. Yes. Confidence into Quinny Quinny. You better take that confidence, boo. Mm. Ken. Kenyatta says, I'm taking my ability to love back when I am loved. Y'all deep. Y'all, mm, mm. This is, I like this. Rosalind says, motivation. Mm. Yeah. These are nice carries. These are, are beautiful carries. Um, taking your... Ken, I'm still like marinating in yours. Taking my ability to love back when I am loved. Hmm. I'm sorry, it just struck me. That's all. I, I love it. It, it just like hit me like mm. Mm, right there <laughs> yes oh wow what else should should we be taking with us into 2020 because 2019 wasn't all bad you know there there are people every single year yes sometimes we do take love for granted Kenyatta. Pastor Jean? Oh, I'm so glad I didn't use my street word. Thank you. <laughs> Pastor Jean is watching. I love you. Yeah. We do take love for granted. Hey, Josephine. And you taking yourself back. Uh. Yes, Rosalind. Yes. Hey, Mary, my South Carolina hottie there, Mary Craig Payne. <laughs> wow. I, um, I am grateful for, for your responses. Please keep them coming as we think about what we will take with us from 2019 into 2020. Um, let's stop making these far-fetched resolutions. Child, if you're going to lose 30 pounds this year, guess what? You should have started working on your eating habits last year. I'm just saying. Right? Right. Um, you can still start. And work your way to, to that 30 pound loss. But that to me is a lot of pressure. Like I can't, I can't do that to myself. Look, <laughs> Skeeter said he brought a few pounds with him in 2020, but they got to go. 
Honey, it looks good on you, though. Mmm. Yeah, poppy. <laughs> I know. I took a few with me, too. Especially these two weeks that I've been off. That's why I know I got to keep a job. I got to keep a job. Because if I ain't working, if I'm just traveling and eating and carrying on, then I'm, I'm going to look like Mary had a baby. Or is having a baby. Yeah. Uh, stop. Stop making stuff so hard, man. Resolution. I'm going to quit smoking. Well, did you buy a patch? Did what, what have you done to prep for that? You know, it's, it's, so it's, it's a time thing. It don't just happen like that. It takes time. Lawrence says it takes a lot of small steps to go a long way. Let me tell you, it does. 365, sometimes 66 days in a year. You got that much time to get it right. And I am so grateful that I really took the opportunity in 2019 to celebrate some things and celebrate other people and, and, and celebrate and honor myself. So grateful. Because now going into 2020, I know what that should look like and what I need to do to get there. Mary Craig Payne says, I'm taking learned lessons, wisdom, motivation, and positive spoken proclamation. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Take that. Take those lessons, honey. All the L's ain't got to be losses. Some of the L's are lessons. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. I think I'm going to take some L's, too, with me. I know I am. Ooh, a lot of lessons learned. That's, that's my cousin in Boston, Tanisha. Hi, boo. <laughs> hey, Felicia. Hey, you guys. Thank you for joining me. Let me give you the website one more time, which is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. IG is at sugarpearls underscore online and YouTube where you guys need to be subscribing today. Now, all of y'all are chiming in and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go there and subscribe, okay? It's very easy. Simply type in Sugar Pearls. That's it. It's spelled S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. Subscribe to the channel. You can see past videos and... Uh, just keep up with what's going on with me. So when Facebook decides to go away or something new comes on, then you've always got the YouTube stuff, okay? All right. There are a lot of lessons. Yes. It takes time to learn a behavior, so it takes time to un... Oh, my gosh. I just said that to my mom the other day. And, Dad, we were talking about something. Thank Tanisha said I subscribed day one. That's right. Yes, thank you, Mauro. <laughs> um, let me let me check on my. Okay, it's doing good. Lobster tails in there. Um, for my supper tonight. Not not real big. I ain't feel like cooking. I really don't feel like eating all that food we had. I cooked this big old dinner for New Year's and child. But I'm glad I did. I had my girls over for dinner, so they helped me eat it up all, and it was it was just good stuff. But I don't want no more. I want them all. Um, so, Lawrence, I was saying, yes, it takes time. If you think that you're just going to wake up and be like, poof, I'm healed, poof, I'm delivered, poof, um, I'm free from certain addictions. You might be setting yourself up. Because to be, be free or to develop a habit or what, that takes time. And people who have learned behaviors, 
All of us have learned behaviors. It takes time to unlearn those things. And that doesn't just happen overnight. The process starts here. And then you decide to follow through with it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I kept a couple of traditions alive for uh, the break. One was um, cooking all that food. New Year's Day. My collard greens, my beans, little rice, little chicken, some candy yams, you know, etc., etc. Um, my dad called me first on the phone. I didn't nobody. I didn't accept a call from anybody until it was my daddy, because growing up, um, my dad was the man in the neighborhood who used to go around bringing um, the older women in our community good luck, as they say. Now, I, I don't really believe in love, superstitions, all of that stuff. Uh, but it's it's fun to see that some of those things you know, still uh, exist. And I got to find the meaning behind a man coming to your door first on New Year's or calling or whatever. So my dad used to always, you know, go to my grandma's first thing in the morning, January 1st. He'd go around the corner to Miss Janie's house um, first to be the first man there at the house. So that's a tradition that we still keep. So my dad called me first, early January 1st morning, uh, to say Happy New Year, which was really sweet. Uh, what other tradition? I did the food. We did the first man. It was summer. Do y'all have any New Year's traditions that you kept this New Year? I know we're like living in a new age so a lot of people still you know <laughs> Xavier said chitlins okay oh, look okay if you want you can have your chitlins honey <laughs> you can have them um I'm trying to think of what else what other tradition there oh cleaning the laundry making sure you ain't got no dirty clothes uh, in the basket, in the laundry. So, yes. <laughs> Somebody is feeling me, yes. Gotta make sure the house is clean. So, before I left mom and dad's New Year's Eve, mom and I, you know, washed bed sheets, um, cleaned up a little to bring in the new year. Because I, I know that's what we did growing up. Like, everything had to be spick and span. Oh, Kenyatta said, I cooked pork chops for the very first time. Oh my gosh, you did. Did you fry them or bake them? Pork chops for the very first time. What about no dirty clothes? <laughs> yeah, no, no dirty clothes. You got to clean the clothes. I messed up with the cleaning up. <laughs> That's all right. You got 362 days to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> yes it's okay yeah look I washed uh did my laundry January 1st so I got all of the um clothes dirty clothes out the hamper and washed them but I forgot to take them out the dryer so they clean they just on my couch so tonight I gotta fold them up and put them away which I hate doing if I could pay somebody to do that part of my laundry, oh gosh. But yeah, so I ain't even gonna show you over there because the clothes are like, mm -hmm. it ain't a whole lot. It's just a few because I ain't been here, but you bake them. Good. <laughs> I love baked pork chops. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Do something new this year, honey. I'm going to check on these lobster tails and veggies and let's see what's happening. Hopefully nothing is burned. Ooh. I 
That looks good. Mmm. Hey, Deidre. <laughs> hey, boo. So if you're just joining um, the rest of the friends, family, and, and cousins, uh, the question tonight was, what is it from 2019 that you're going to take into 2020? I know it, it's a different kind of spin, but I like to think that there were some th good things that happened in 2019. I know there were for me many good things. So I will be taking those things with Skeeter. Skeeter washed his hair on New Year's Eve. Skeeter ain't got no hair. I love you. <laughs> Just adore you. Yeah. Um, yeah, so why folks cutting off the same people they threatened to cut off last year and the year before and the year before? And let me say something about that. If every year your resolution is centered around cutting folks off and whatever, then the problem might not be everybody else. The problem might be you. I'm just saying. Because if I cut somebody off, I ain't got to tell them I'm cutting them off. They just gonna be cut. I ain't got to tell nobody. Oh, I'm, I'm reevaluating my relationships. That's cool. That is awesome. But sometimes y'all just need to walk in silence, man. Y'all be, oh my goodness. I think I overcooked that lobster. You ain't got to tell folks you're cutting them off. Just cut them. Uh, where my uh? Excuse me. I'm gonna go behind your head right here for a second. Scoot, scoot. I'm gonna get a small plate. Uh, yeah. Yeah, already. I'm ready to eat. I know. Um. One more time. There we go. Give me a little cock of my tail. Booyah. Mm. Oh, I love roasted vegetables. Oh, my goodness. They just... Um, They just bring out the natural sweetness. Ooh, ooh. When you roast them. That's my little dinner for tonight. Yep. Just like that. Little carrots. Little lobster tail. Little onion. I don't think I'm going to eat both lobster tails tonight. Because you know I had that New Year's dinner for breakfast and lunch. So I don't want, I'm kind of full kind of full all right let me say a prayer and then we're we gonna get into this okay before i let y'all go some of that <laughs> all right buddy i gotta get you here man ursula hey boo! <laughs> oh how's my gorgeous lady oh hold on let me let me let me say a prayer all right Thank you, Lord, for this dinner that I'm receiving tonight with my friends on board. Thank you for the ability to prepare this meal uh, and the ability to um, share among friends. Lord, thank you for a year gone by as we look to another year, 2020. And we thank you for all of your provisions. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. 
This is this is dinner. Let's check this tail out right here. Yeah, I think I overcooked it a little bit. Well, maybe, maybe not, child. Oh, Kelvin, thank you. <laughs> he says he lo loves my head wrap. Thank it now. I'm conditioning my hair underneath it. <laughs> and I didn't want to um, wash the conditioner out. So I'm like, I'm going to just... Just do my little badu tonight. Mmm. It is not overcooked. <laughs> that is beautiful. Where my lemon at? Do I have a lemon? No, but I got some lime juice. I got a lemon. I sliced these the other night for my girls when they came for dinner yesterday. So I'm going to squeeze a little juice on that. Oh, yeah. And the other one. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm. Those carrots are just right. So tender and sweet. Put a piece of this onion on here with Y'all, I'm going to eat this little small plate. And until next time, I know I got to go. But I want you to remember um, what we what we shared here tonight about the good that we want to take with us into this new year, into this new season. Don't let anybody strip that away from you. Take it with you. If it was good and it worked in 2019, bring it along. Pack it up. That's certainly what I plan to do. And tweak it along the way and make it a little bit better. That's my hope. That's my prayer. Um, this season, and before I go, I, I've got to say this. My family, and I can only speak for my family, but we, we've, we've had some losses this year. Um. The people that were with us in, in 2019 and, and years before are no longer with us in 2020. They weren't there to, to celebrate the new year, to laugh and have dinner and all that stuff and share their wisdom and they're gone. So what we've got are beautiful memories of those people that we can take with us. The losses still kind of hit here. And even as I talk about it, I want to be careful not to like break down in tears. But understand that this season, this time of year, it's not always easy for a lot of people. Some people are not 
able to be with their loved ones, whether they are living or dead. They're not able to share in the laughter and the smiles. And, and there are some people, although you may have great relationships with your family, there are some who just don't understand what that feels like. So I know that it is important for all of us, no matter what we resolve to do in the new year, one thing I, I do want you to take with you into the new year, because I, I know that I have to take it with me, and that is patience for people. I know. And sometimes that's hard, especially when it comes to, to grown-up people. We're like, you, you ought to have your stuff together by now. You grown, like... But there are some people who don't, who really don't understand what that looks like. So if we have just a little patience with those friends or those family members that may be struggling to get it right, take that time to support them. I'm not saying you got to carry nobody else's load. Everybody got to carry their own weight. But understand that everybody has their own process also. So, um, I plan to be a little more patient with people. I'm going to try. <laughs> But I'm going to try because so many people have been patient with me. So it's my duty to pay it forward. That is my plan. Carry my voice. Bring along some patience. Those are the two things I'm bringing with me into 2020. I hope yours is good. Thank you for joining me for the very first video. Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live here on Facebook, Fridays at 7, the very first one of 2020, and you're here with me, so thank you. It really means so much to me every time y'all tune in, I can't say it enough, but I'm glad you do. Always remember that I love you, and I hope you love me back. Bye.